and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, special welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to all the subscribers. I appreciate it very much and I appreciate your comments. This is going to be a general horoscope reading for Twin Flames and Soulmates under the fire sign Sagittarius. So this will be the remainder of June on into uh, July. Okay. So, um, like I said, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If you want me to uh, do a personal reading to get more detail on your particular situation, um, my information is below, or you can go to intuitiveenvisions.com. When I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I am referring to energies and not a specific gender, so you can be a Divine Feminine and be a male. Okay, so this go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my uh, brand new deck that I've got called the um, Psychic Tarot. That's this purple card over here um, to get the general energy. And then I'm going to kind of do a little bit something different this time with the horoscope. Um, basic messages, but I'm just want to get your overall energy. So I'm going to be using the um, Romance Angel cards as well for the energy. And then I will see what energy is representing you um, from this period of June into uh, July 2019. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the energy surrounding your sign Sagittarius for this period. Um, my readings are meant to be timeless by the way, so if you get these readings outside of the timeline, that means that Spirit wanted you to hear it and it was meant for you if it resonates, okay? this reading does resonate with you I'd appreciate a um, like or if you're a new subscriber or a new person watching just subscribe to my channel leave uh, feedback in the comments below I would really appreciate it so that was almost one coming out okay and we got moving on which is number six this is also in this particular deck, it's like the swords um, energy. So this could be moving on or moving forward, um, but you know, we'll have to see what's, um, what it's saying with the other energies. Okay, because at the bottom we got conflict and uh, defeat, number five, which is also a five swords. So some kind of um, deception or somebody hiding something. So. It feels like someone is kind of moving on from some type of conflict, but we'll get more energy in a moment or more information, I should say. All right. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so um i feel like someone someone is uh in the energy and remember when i do these readings this could be you or this could be the person you're thinking about your twin flame or soulmate or sometimes it really could end up being just your karmic uh, partner in general with i'm just saying for all these readings not specific for you sagittarius but um, someone is in um, healing uh, a family situation. And um, so that could be what they're moving on from. You or this person. Okay, and at the bottom we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, because some, someone is um, feeling controlled or trapped or something. And they are taking back control of their life um they're moving on you or this person is uh, moving on they're freeing themselves from this conflict that's what the general energy is kind of picking up right now okay so let's see what energy is representing you Sagittarius for this uh period into July 2019 what's the energy you are representing I'm 
these are the Celtic Tarot cards, by the way, that I didn't mention. And we have Ace of Wands, which is about a brand new beginning. Um, it's about a passionate beginning, this creative. So this could be about relationships. Um, this could be about new ideas, projects, um, anything artistic um, that could be working on. But um, with this energy, I feel like um, you're in an energy of just starting something brand new, something that you feel more passionate about. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, I'm not going to turn the bottom card because these cards will be used as a clarifier anyways. So I'm, I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot um, for the, excuse me just a second, got to take a sip of this tea. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> I'll be using the, <clears throat> sorry, using the Gilded Tarot for the main reading. We're going to see what the current situation is with you and your partner. Um, what are their thoughts towards you? How are they feeling towards you? What's blocking or challenging them? What action I'm going to take? And then the uh, outcome will be the bottom card. And I will clarify those. Okay, that's the first card out. We have Four of Swords. I'll be using the, um, what's it called? the Crystal Mandala Oracle for advice or message from Spirit at the end of this uh, reading. Oops, I almost dropped all these cards. And then for the thoughts, I've got the world card. Uh, they're feeling we got the page of swords <clears throat> sorry the voice has got a little whatever in it <laughs> it's just scratchy okay nine of swords for what's blocking or challenging them Wheel of Fortune for what action they're going to take. And then at the bottom for the outcome, we have Justice. All right, I'm going to clarify these cards before I get into the situation. Let's clarify the Four of Swords. For the situation. Three of Wands, clarifying the Four of Swords. Clarify the world card for their thoughts. Seven of Wands. Clarifying the Page of Swords for their feelings. Knight of Shields, which is the Knight of Pentacles in other decks. Clarifying the Nine of Swords for what's blocking or challenging them. Six of Wands. And then clarifying what action you're going to take. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. P 
page of wands okay bottom is justice oh my god justice twice okay all right let's get into this see what this is about okay uh, first for the current situation um, you have the four of swords okay the four of swords is about retreating um, waiting um, kind of like this person is resting from like a battle like they feel exhausted they feel drained and they got the three of wands which is about waiting or it's about moving forward okay so with this current energy right here with moving on I feel like this person is retreating like they're exhausted from whatever situation that they've gone through you or this person is retreating and they're just um, wanting to move on because they're just drained from um, this uh, battle or this relationship or whatever it could be um, some family issues that's here that um, could have drained them could be somebody with a family because there is um, children inside this uh, situation someone could be leaving a family situation moving on for another beginning that's what I'm getting here for the current situation for you or the person you are thinking about and then their thoughts um, here you have the world card okay so the world card is about um, completion new chapters um, new beginnings ending things um, but starting new things um, so with the moving on energy that it has here I feel like um, with this seven of wands clarifying the world someone is like defending they're blocking um, this completion like somebody you or the other person is wanting to um, you know start over they're wanting to start over and I feel like somebody else might be trying to um, block them from doing this from moving on and um, you or this person is just wanting to um, move on and then I feel like for some of you that you're overcoming um, you or the person you're thinking about is overcoming obstacles to start a new chapter in life okay so that's what I'm picking up all right so let's see how are they feeling towards you you've got the page of swords which the swords um, the page of swords is about some type of news It's about um, communication is about delay uh, and then you have the knight of shields clarifying this okay um, I feel like someone is wanting to communicate that they want to leave um, a situation they're wanting to express this or um, they're feeling like they um, have already left the situation um, it could involve money um, with this Knight of Shields <clears throat> here because it does um, represent um, pinnacles but I feel like this person has already um, taken some sort of action towards leaving um, you or this person are feeling um, they just they want to leave the situation I'm not picking up a lot of um, a positive <clears throat> excuse me sorry I just gotta take a sip again <clears throat> okay so what's blocking or challenging them you've got the nine of swords okay nine of swords is about despair mental torment really in your head really not being able to um, think a lot and uh, you know just worry you know and then you have this six of wands clarifying this um, which is about you know going forward with something um, so this person is really in their head about how to go forward or they're going for it um, they're, yeah they're moving on because you, you got this this person is thinking about they want to um, move on and they're just trying to figure out how to do this you or this other person is they want to 
move forward because this is about going forward towards a victory, towards success, going towards, you know, something else. Um, could be in a public, so it could be like a public uh, battle. Um, there's other people here involved, so it could be other um, issues and factors that is making the situation uh, challenging. So what is the action that this person is going to take? Um, I feel like you got the will of fortune here, which is about fate. It's about destiny. It can also be about money um, and about time. So I feel like the action this person is going to take with this world card here, as well as this will of fortune, I just feel like someone is moving on towards a new chapter. Um, they either are going to communicate this because you got the page of wands. Um, or they already have communicated or that's what they're thinking about um, how to communicate this because that's what the page of wands is about um, generally it's about um, good news um, I feel like this person is wanting you or this person is wanting to close a cycle maybe you're waiting on this cycle to close so that they can go forward towards this um, brand new beginning because I feel like that's what someone wants here. They want in a brand new beginning. And uh, at the bottom, because at the bottom here you have both cards with the justice here. Okay? You got the justice twice. So that's why I feel like this might have to do with some type of... Um, this is about balance. So this is definitely someone's wanting balance. And wanting that brand new beginning. So... This justice is here twice, so this is definitely a confirmation that justice is um, going to be served. And I feel like this person, you or this person, is wanting uh, a brand new beginning. And they're just, they're ready to move on. They're ready to free themselves from whatever conflict and despair um, that they're going through. And or defeat, I should say, um, defeat that they're going through. This is what you or this person is wanting to do is free themselves from um, this situation because it's just not uh, working for you. Okay, so now I'm going to get a message or advice from spirit um, for you, Sagittarius, for this period into July 2019. I'm going to do that one more time. Just didn't feel right. Okay. So we have goddess. I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm going to mess it up. Um, number 53 could be um, significant to you, so take note of that. Um, goddess Z Wang Wu Mu and Stromatolite. Rare success, Crystal Goddess 888. Okay, and then I'm going to read the message from that. And I just want to see what's on the bottom here. 43 Goddess, um, Merle Tangi and Heliotrope. Already there is value. Okay, so I feel like that, that bottom message is basically and there's already value in what you're doing or whatever you decided to do, even though it might have been a difficult decision. So now I'm going to read this message, um, number 53, to see what spirit has to say to you or advice um, from spirit. I'm sorry, excuse me just a second. I'm trying to get this page. Okay. So we have... Goddess Z Wang Mu and Stromatolite, <laughs> rare success. We bring you the empowerment of rare success. You are bringing something utterly unique, special, and precious to the world. 
whilst there are creations that are worthwhile and valuable which can manifest swiftly there are others that are laborers of love requiring diligence strength and long-term commitment to bring them to life in the world these exquisite creations are the divine manifestations of rare success that which shall stand the test of time and offer a legacy of comfort encouragement and divine grace for generations to come okay so what i'm getting from that message is that you have a quality that even though you're going through some uh, tough situation and maybe making some tough decisions you have a, a rare quality that's going to be more beneficial than you might be feeling right now um, it's going to come out um, in the future or you're going to realize it because you got this brand new beginning this energy you're in and there is um, you have more to offer than maybe you realize so that's what I'm feeling that the spirit is saying is just realize that you are a rare success and you have more to offer than you may be feeling right now okay so I hope that resonated with you guys and if it did please like subscribe or comment below I really appreciate it I want to thank you all so much for watching I appreciate you very much and then have a good day or night or whatever it is I don't even know how to say that wherever it is wherever you are um, and until next time next video peace love and light